Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I kind of want to switch gears a little bit and instead of talking about books, I want to talk about bookshelves, decorating bookshelves to be specific. But before getting into that, I wanted to talk about my big plans for this guest room that I am not currently using because pandemic, obviously. So I have this room that I will show you guys in a little bit that is just a complete mess. It is being used for storage for my mom currently. She's renovating her house. There's not that many things, like she's still able to stay in her house on the bottom floor. So a lot of her stuff has been moved downstairs. She just has like a little bit of things that needed a place to go in. So we stuck it into that second room. Even though there are some stuff from her, it does not need to be that crowded and that messy. I've kind of been uninspired with this room because it is super 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 lopsided like you could go on one side of the room put a lipstick down and it will just roll to the other side of the room it's incredible how lopsided that room is uh so i've been uninspired and it's kind of small and oddly shaped in a way but i definitely have also been wanting a bright space to start reading that way i'm not reading in my bed which is usually my go-to because I hate reading in my living room. My living room does not have any windows and so it's dark and I am somebody who needs bright sunlight to feel inspired and just to be happy. So I'm never in that living room unless I have guests over. So I've thought about just cleaning up that room, organizing it and turning it into this little reading nook that also serves as a guest room when guests come over, obviously. But true to form, I've turned this into a much bigger thing than it needs to be. So I've had, I've gone on Pinterest, I've gone on Ikea, I've like looked into all these different things of what I could do. And my friend gave me this good idea of getting rid of the current like pull out couch that I have. It's a couch that transforms into a bed that I got from Ikea. It's really good actually. I will link it down below. I really like it. I've had it for years. It served me well in my tiny, tiny Manhattan apartment but I am ready to get rid of it. And my friend gave me the idea of getting this armchair that I really, really love from Ikea and just switching over to a blowout bed for when guests come over. So I haven't done that yet. I That is the process. So basically what I'm trying to come to is that this, redoing this room will be a process. And so today's first process is doing the bookshelf or I've already done the bookshelf. So today's first process is not doing the bookshelf, but I am going to show you putting together or styling this bookshelf. But before getting into all of that, let's roll the tape and show you what I am working with. Please do not judge me. Thanks. So yeah, super embarrassing, but nobody sees this except for Ellie, my dog. She hangs out there because she loves like going on that little bed and looking out the window. <laughs> and it's always clean when a guest comes over, but again, pandemic, no one's coming over. So without further ado, let's actually get into styling said bookshelf. I like to start off by cleaning my shelves with some Method all-purpose cleaner. Then once I have all the shelves clean, I go around and gather some stuff in order to give it time to dry. I first gather all the books I think I want on my shelves and try to organize them in piles. I usually shelf by author and series. So I put all those things together to make it easier once I start styling. Then I go around my apartment and do some shopping, making sure to grab some plants as well. Yeah. 
Once I have everything in a pile, I head back to the bookshelf and get started. As I'm styling, I tend to shovel things around, step back to see how I'm liking it, and then jump back in. In general, I style by incorporating artwork, plants, and other collections, using both simple and stylish bookends, laying books vertically and horizontally, layering items, and color coding books if at all possible. Those are usually the five steps that I follow to kind of create this pretty shelf that I enjoy using and looking at. So that's it guys that is I'm not going to make this a series only because I don't know how quickly I'm going to get this done. I will say that the room has been completely um, organized and styled with what I have right now so the shelves are styled the floating shelves are styled the couch that's in there right now I've like stacked a bunch of pillows on there and like some blankets and have it rearranged where Ellie can lay, lay on me or lay at the foot of it and hang out while I'm reading my book. So it is currently serving as my reading space, but my true goal for it 
I don't know how long it's going to take because I have to like sell the couch, buy the armchair, you know, potentially paint and stuff. So I won't make this a series, but I will update my channel as I progress so yeah hopefully soon there can be new updates to it until then I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time bye